Get dry floral foam from a flower shop. Measure it against the lava, then start carving. Make the width a bit bigger than the beetle. Deeper is better, just don't break through. Note, sag beetles pupate vertically. While rhinoceros beetles go horizontal. If you're unsure about that for size, start small. You can enlarge it later if needed. Too big it and you can shrink it. Now make a horizontal one for a rhinoceros beetle. One more key point. No chamber should be too wide. During pupation, they need support on both sides. If it's too wide with no support, pupation will fail. Lastly, make one for a rhinoceros beetle. Horizontal too. This one's a female. So no horns. One final tip. Horizontal chambers need enough length. Especially for males, their legs stretch out during pupation. If it's too short, their legs hit the wall and bend. Once done, soak the foam in water to clean it. Then place it in a sealed container. Poke one or two holes, that's enough. Don't use a box with tons of holes. It won't hold moisture and is unsuitable.